I mean, this is probably, I lost count how many times I've been now. Uh, my wife is from Fiji. Hmm. Um, they're from Lamy. Oi. Yeah, so uh, they're from the Fong family. So yeah, they, she grew up here. My wife went to Yetzin. Um Yeah, and her uncle's still here. So we, we come often to Fiji to visit them and we love the place. I don't want to live here, but my wife wants to stay in Fiji, in, in Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> I came into the industry in 1998. Yeah, so very long time. Very, very, very long, long time. time. <laughs> yeah. um, I love the... DJing, I'm because I'm the you know obviously the DJ. So the DJing aspect of of the music side really got me into it. Um, I was interested in uh, watching older DJs and trying to learn from them, and um, that was what my passion was and still is. But it's kind of shifted a little bit at the moment. Shifted more into events, more into events like running festivals, and um, there's a big gap in the market in Australia and New Zealand for these type of events. You know to cater to our South Pacific communities and now we kind of cross over to the Africans and that's where we've teamed up with um, Adina and her crew uh, you know because our, our people really enjoy the Afrobeat music as well as reggae, dance hall you know uh, so it kind of fits in with what we do. Oh I've toured with pretty much everyone you could think of uh, Akon, Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z, uh, Beyonce, uh, Chris Brown, Neo, uh, Tiger, YG, Todd Dallasai, Newbie 40, mm. Fiji, J Book, Spawn Breezy, Common Kings, Sammy J. That's, yeah, there's so many. <laughs> Obviously, master your craft, eh? Because there's a lot of DJing has changed. It's not what it used to be. Um, with technology and, you know, all these devices, and it's made everything so accessible and easy. Mm. But, uh, with that has come the the need for instant success. Uh, a lot of this younger generation they 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 want the success straight away. They want to buy a console today and they want to be playing in f festivals and nightclubs tomorrow. Mm. And uh, these things take time, you know. Like like any uh, person that's in the entertainment industry, it, it takes a lot of time to become really good and master your craft. You know? You see DJs playing up on stage. It's not something that they picked up yesterday or last month. They've been doing this for many years. Like I said, I've been doing this for over 20 years. And it might look easy to me and to others, but it took a long time to get there. So, you know, good things happen, good, you know, in good time. But just to really master your craft, because there's a lot of things that come with skipping a lot of steps. Yeah, yeah and when you skip a lot of steps, you don't know how to fix problems and troubleshoot and all that kind of thing. So just, yeah, I, I would say just master your craft and, and be a good person and a likable person. That's one of the main factors is becoming a successful uh, DJ and uh, someone in the entertainment industry. It's just being a good person. Uh, it mm. helps to navigate your way around the industry and network, especially in our, in our uh, industry, the South Pacific community. Mm. You know, our music industry is very small. Everybody knows everybody. Somebody will know somebody. So it's always good to, you know, have integrity and respect and all those things when you're dealing with your own people and others. It's something that I've dealt with my whole career, to be honest. And it's something that we can never change. It's just in our, it's embedded in us. Yeah. We set deadlines and we have time frames. But I think now we know we have to... Have a dummy time frame, eh? Yeah. So if you want people to, yeah, you have a buffer. So if you want people to come at five, you tell them four. Yeah. yeah.